It is release week for Ubuntu 1804 and the various flavors of Ubuntu. Probably the darling of the Ubuntu family is Ubuntu Mate. Ubuntu Mate is very popular, maybe the most popular flavor of Ubuntu outside of mainline Ubuntu. Who knows? Uh, it definitely gets a lot of good press. Generally, everybody looks upon Ubuntu Mate very favorably. Today, I'm going to take a look at Ubuntu Mate 1804 Bionic Beaver. So, Ubuntu Mate. Let's take a look at the release notes for Ubuntu Mate. Let's see. I've got a blog post here. What has changed since the Ubuntu Mate 1604 LTS release two years ago? Um, and the first line says just about everything. So apparently there have been a lot of changes. We're using the Mate Desktop 1.20.1. Um, uh, let's see, support for lib input. We have high DPI support. The file manager, Kaja, has received a ton of new features. They've added advanced bulk rename, added encryption. They added hash checking. They added advanced ACL properties. They updated folder color. They replaced the deprecated Kaja GK Su with Kaja Admin for uh, invoking pseudo privileges. Uh, the window manager, Marco. Let's see. If your hardware driver supports DRI3, then the window manager compositing is now hardware accelerated. Uh, some desktop layout features. A variety of new desktop layout features. We have the familiar desktop. We have Mutiny. Cupertino, Redmond, Pantheon, Contemporary, Netbook, and Traditional. So a lot of different uh, desktop layouts in the Ubuntu Mate desktop. You have super key support uh, for using the super key to launch you know, your menus and launchers and other key bindings. We have a global menu now. Uh, of course, this would be very useful in the mutant, mutiny layout for those trying to make Mate mimic the old Unity desktop environment. Uh, some indicator stuff, Mate Doc Applet, we have the brisk menu, of course, and the heads-up display, very cool. Uh, Ubuntu Mate Welcome, looks like it's seeing, seeing some uh, new improvements. System telemetry, this is where Ubuntu and the various flavors are asking uh, you to, uh, they're kindly requesting that you send them a little information about your system, uh, basically what hardware you're running, uh, and some stuff during the install, like did you install the updates during the install, or various things like that. No personal information, no IP tracking, uh, they have no idea about the files on your system or anything like that. They just need hardware information. And they're asking your permission for that. Uh, you can choose to accept it or not. Me personally, yeah, I don't mind send them, sending them a little information. If it helps them improve Ubuntu Mate, uh, if we get better driver support and stuff like that. I have no problems with that. They're they're using the slick greeter now for light DM. Um, that's pretty cool. I think they were using the GTK greeter before. Ubuntu Mate switched to the slick greeter during the 1710 development cycle. So this is the second release of Ubuntu Mate that they've been using slick greeter. And of course we have some new artwork artwork. Uh, major applications of course have been updated. Uh, again Mate Desktop is now 1.20.1, .1, Linux Kernel 4.15, Firefox 59.0.2, that's Quantum, VLC 3, LibreOffice 6, Thunderbird 52.7.0. So I'm going to go ahead and install this today inside a VM. Okay, so I'm going to install this inside VirtualBox today. We wait for the live environment to load. Let me check out... Uh, See, how big was this ISO when I downloaded it? I like to give you guys the sizes on this. Let's see, Ubuntu Mate 1804, the ISO was 1 1.9 gigs in size. So, not a small ISO, but not terribly large either. Kind of middle of the road. So I expect Ubuntu Mate to have, you know, a pretty decent suite of apps installed by default for an ISO that's almost 2 gigs in size. And we still wait for the live environment to load. It always takes a couple of minutes for these live environments to load when you're booting off. In my case, an ISO, you guys would be booting off a live USB stick if you were doing this on physical hardware. 
All right, and it looks like the guest editions are not working in the lab environment, so I'm going to have to deal with this very small screen resolution, at least during the install portion. So I'm going to choose Install Ubuntu Mate. English has already been chosen for our language, so I don't need to do anything there. We have our keyboard layout, English US has been chosen. I'm going to click Continue. Uh, updates. Do we want to do a normal installation or a minimal installation? I'm going to choose normal installation. Uh, download updates while installing Ubuntu Mate? Sure. I doubt that there's going to be any updates to take anyway. This was just released late yesterday. <laughs> so uh, not even a full day since the release. So probably no updates, but I'm going to leave that ticked on in case there are some updates I need to take. Install third-party software for graphics, Wi-Fi, multimedia codecs. You need to tick this on. This will install your proprietary video drivers to get the most performance out of your video card. You really want the proprietary video drivers. You're going to need the Wi-Fi drivers for those of you on laptops. And of course, you're going to need multimedia codecs for viewing various media formats and things like VLC or what have you. Click Continue. And we wait a few seconds. Drank a little bit of coffee here. Been a busy past few days with all the 1804 releases, uh, but it's been fun. I I've enjoyed this week. All right, the computer currently has no detected operating system. What would you like to do? By default, it says erase disk and install Ubuntu Mate, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let Ubuntu Mate have the entire 15 gig hard drive of this virtual machine I created. For, uh, if I wanted to, I could do some manual partitioning by going down here to something else and clicking something else and then clicking continue, and I could manually partition. But I'm going to just let the uh, first option here that was already ticked on by default, I'm just going to let that go here. Ubuntu Mate will automatically partition. Okay, and we have a warning here. It's about to format the drive right to the disk. I'm going to click continue. And we wait a few seconds. All right, time zone. It has correctly chosen the central time zone in the U.S. for me, so nothing to do here, but click continue. We need to create a username. All right, I'm going to create the user DT. We need to create a strong and secure password for the DT user. So let me create a very complicated password for that user. Then we have the option of either logging in automatically or requiring a password to log in. I like to require a password to log in for privacy reasons. All right, and we have come to the final portion of the install. This, this portion of the install usually takes somewhere around five to 10 minutes to complete. So I'm gonna pause the video. I'll be back once the installation is finished. Okay, and the install has completed uh, start to finish. That whole installation process might have taken 10 minutes. Uh, very quick, very easy install. Uh, now, when the installation is completed, you need to click the Restart Now button. You always have to reboot your machine to complete installation. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Let me reboot the machine. All right, so I rebooted the machine. And let's see how long it takes for our freshly installed Ubuntu Mate 1804 Bionic Beaver to boot up. All right, we got to a login manager very, very fast. Uh, definitely not even 10 seconds when we were already at the login manager here. Very fast boot up time. And it appears that we don't have the VirtualBox guest editions uh, working here. Yeah, we've got some uh, graphical problems here. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to take a, a couple of minutes here and see if I can get the VirtualBox guest editions installed and working to properly review this. So I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. I got the VirtualBox guest editions installed and I rebooted the VM. All right, when we first log in, we're we're greeted with our little welcome greeter here, but it doesn't look like it loaded properly. It's a blank screen. I don't know if that's a just a glitch here. Let me close that. Let me see if I can find the greeter in our uh, our panel here, or our, excuse me, our menu. Launch it here. See if it'll load this time. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the little welcome greeter here. Uh, that's not anything I would ever use. I mean, it's really just mainly to view that very first time you log in 
to something like Ubuntu Mate. You know, it gives you a little bit of information where you can find the support forms, the support IRC chat, how to get involved with the project, how to donate to the project. But still, it would be nice if, you know, the very first thing that launched on login uh, wasn't failing. <laughs> Uh, anyway, the VirtualBox Guest Editions, for those of you that are going to test out Ubuntu Mate in a virtual machine, uh, to get the VirtualBox Editions installed, you need to install GCC and you need to install Make. Those are two dependencies that are not installed by default. Alright, so I'm going to go through the Mate menu here at the top and we're going to see what is installed by default here in Ubuntu Mate 1804. Again, I expected to have quite a bit of software installed by default because the ISO was nearly 2 gigs in size. So, under accessories, we have backups. Let's see what backup utility they're using. They're using Deja Dupe, it looks like. This is the standard backup utility in the GNOME desktop environment uh, and mainline Ubuntu, they use the Deja Dupe program. It's actually a very fine program for taking snapshots and uh, restoring your system. Also under accessories, we have our character map. We have the NGrampa Archive Manager, your standard uh, zip, unzip kind of utility. Uh, Mate Calculator, Mate Font Viewer, Mate Search Tool, the Mate Search Tool. Basically, it just searches your system for uh, files and directories. Access, under accessories category here, we also have our password and keys. We have Plank, which is a dock. If I launched it, this is Plank at the bottom. If I control and right click, I get this menu popping up and I can quit the Plank dock. Also under accessories, we have Pluma, which is your standard plain text editor in the Mate desktop environment. Pluma 1.20.1. Also under accessories, we have Redshift. Uh, Redshift, I believe uh, it adjusts the colors on your monitor depending on the time of day. I think it's supposed to help uh, with sleep patterns. Uh, let me do an info here. Yeah. So it's basically telling us uh, our location, the color temperature, and what time, well, period. It says daytime. So I guess uh, nighttime, it adjusts the colors a little more. Again, it's Supposedly, there's been research done on this thing, and it's supposed to help improve your sleep patterns for those of us that spend a lot of time on a computer. All right, we have our screenshot utility, and we have the Ubuntu Mate Guide, also under the accessories category. Let's see. Looks like, uh, is it an HTML file? So you've discovered Linux. Yeah, it looks like it's just HTML. That's really nice that they include a, a very large... Uh, Ubuntu Mate guide here. That's actually pretty neat. I would probably read through some of that stuff if I installed Ubuntu Mate on my main machine to become familiar, you know, with what all is possible in Ubuntu Mate. Because it does have a lot of options, as we're going to see here, especially as we get into like some of the desktop layouts. Under the administration category, we have uh, options for configuring the login window. Is this for uh, the light DM greeter, I'm assuming? Yeah, this configures the LightDM Slick Greeter, so we can change the background of the Login Manager, uh, colors, the theme. I'm not going to bother changing anything here in this VM. Also under Administration, we have settings for our network printers. We have the Software and Update Utility, the standards, uh, that's the standard Software and Update Utility in Ubuntu. Or you can add, remove, repos. Uh, if you click on additional drivers right here, it will go out and search for proprietary video drivers for your machine, uh, Wi-Fi drivers. We ticked all of that stuff on in the installer, though. All right, also under administration, we have the software boutique. That is what Ubuntu Mate calls its software center. They call it a software boutique. And this particular program also does not look like it's wanting to load properly. And this is strange. I'm going to leave this up for a minute or two and uh, just see if it finally comes up. Also under administration, we have software updater. This basically just checks for an update. Which it might be a good idea for me to check and see if any, there is an update available. Again, this was just released late yesterday. It's not even been 24 hours since this was released, so I wouldn't expect anything to be updated. The software on this computer is up to date, yes, so there's nothing for me to update here. I'm going to go ahead and close the software boutique, so 
the welcome screen, the Ubuntu Mate welcome screen did not load properly. The software boutique also did not load properly. Again, this is a VM, this is VirtualBox, but a lot of people are going to test out an operating system in a VM before they actually install it on real hardware. I always do. Uh, and if it doesn't function correctly in a VM, I'm probably not even going to bother to try it on actual hardware. Uh, let's see, Startup Disk Creator is also available under administration. We have time and date, user and groups, and the welcome the welcome greeter again, which I will try to launch one more time just to see if it actually comes up. It doesn't. Hmm. Okay, under the education category, there's nothing. Under graphics, we have the Eye of Mate image viewer. We have our Mate color selection tool. We have Shotwell. Shotwell is our photo manager. Let's see. Shotwell 0.28.2. Shotwell is great for those of you that especially that are into photography and have a very large collection of photos to manage. Shotwell is fantastic. Also under the graphics category, we have Simple Scan, a scanning utility. Under Internet, we have Firefox. Firefox is the default browser here in Ubuntu Mate 18.04. And we checked the release notes already. They should be using uh, Firefox 59.0.2, I believe which is the latest Firefox Quantum, yeah. And close out all these tabs. Right, under Internet, we also have Thunderbird Mail as our email client. We have Transmission for our BitTorrent client. Under Office, we have the Atrial Document Viewer for viewing PDFs. And then we have the LibreOffice Suite. We have Calc, Draw, Impress, Math, and Writer. And we are using LibreOffice version 6 here in Ubuntu Mate. We uh, actually check that out in the release notes. They're using version 6.0.3.2. All right. Also, preferences. We have your standard stuff here under preferences for uh, About Me, Additional Drivers, Appearance, Assistive Technologies, Bluetooth, Disk, Display, File Management, Keyboard, Main Menu, which is ed edits this menu here uh, that we're in here. Then we have Mouse, Network, Power Management, Preferred App, Startup App, Screensaver, yada, yada, yada. Under Sound and Video, we have the Bracero Disk Burner. Bracero is the standard disk burning app in the GNOME desktop environment. Okay, got a little lag here. Kind of froze up here. Risk Menu has quit unexpectedly. unexpectedly. Yeah, let's reload that. Okay, so there's some bugs here. Sorry, Ubuntu 1804 has experienced an internal, external, no, internal issue. <laughs> I'm having problems reading today. Anyway, the brisk menu crashed on me. Back to the brisk menu, though, sound and video. We have Cheese, a webcam app. We have Rhythmbox, your standard audio player in the GNOME desktop environment. Rhythmbox is a fantastic music player. This is version 3.4.2. Also under sound and video, we have VLC installed by default, which is really nice. I wish mainline Ubuntu installed VLC by default. They don't do it because, I guess, of some uh, licensing reasons. Because VLC, although VLC itself is free and open source, to really use VLC, it come, you uh, install a lot of proprietary multimedia codecs to actually use VLC. And mainline Ubuntu does not want to ship those by default on its ISO. But I guess the Mate guys have no problem with it. VLC 3.0.1. All right, under System Tools, we have Kaja, which is the file manager. This is Kaja 1.20.2. Kaja lets you organize files and folders, both on your computer and online. Your standard file manager. Also under System Tools, we have the GDB Package Installer. This is a uh, basically a, a helper. This helps you install .deb packages. So if you go out on the web, say something's not in the repos, and you have to go out on the web and find a .deb package for it, a Debian package for it, GDB helps you install that package. 
Also under System Tools, we have our Log File Viewer, we have the Disk Usage Analyzer, and we have the Monte System Monitor. Let's check out System Resources here. I gave this VM one core of my six core CPU, and I gave this VM two gigs of memory. I assume that would be enough for the Monte desktop environment. It's not necessarily a lightweight desktop environment, but it's not a resource hog like something like GNOME. And it's only using about 6, 7, 11% my CPU. It fluctuates a little bit. Memory, it is using a little bit of memory, actually. Actually, 744 megs of the 2 gigs I gave it. Hmm. That's still not too bad, though. Uh, if we were running GNOME, this would be more than a gig of memory being used. Uh, even not doing anything. Uh, GNOME is really kind of heavy. Uh, we have our Mate terminal here. Standard terminal in the Mate desktop environment. 1.20.0 is the version. Let's do a uname space dash a. And the kernel version is 4.15.0. Very recent kernel. Close out that terminal. Also under system tools we have power statistics. We have a category for universal access where we have our onboard uh, on screen keyboard. We have screen magnifier, magnify part of the display with real time updates. Oh, that's pretty neat. And then of course we have our control center. This should be like our settings manager, your standard control center, where you see all your preferences again that we uh, went through in the preferences menu here. Basically all that same stuff for, you know, display, mouse, keyboard, all that stuff. All right, I'm going to right click on the desktop. I'm going to choose change desktop background. Let's see what kind of wallpapers are installed by default. All right, and they look like they have some really nice wallpapers here. We got some space stuff. Of course, we've got some Ubuntu Mate branded stuff, uh, some abstract art here. Oh, I really like the gray one. That's pretty nice. You know, that's a really nice photo too. Kind of, kind of neat kind of thing I would go for. I, I really like minimal wallpapers for the most part. I like things that are not too busy, that don't have a lot of colors going on. Oh, that's a really nice photo right there. Whoever took that picture did a really nice job on that. All right, so you know what? I'm just going to go with one of these. Since I really like this one, I'm going to stick with that. Let's see what themes are installed by default. Let me open up a file manager here, the Kaja file manager, so we can see some of the changes that take place. Um, uh, ambient Mate Dark. Let's see what that one looks like. That is actually a really nice dark theme. I would probably go with that one. We also have Black Mate. Yeah, that one's even darker. I don't like the uh, GNOME icon set, though. Let's see if I can change that. If I go down here to Customize, yeah, we have options to change the controls, the window controls, the window borders, the icons, and of course I want to change the icons to, let's see, Menta. Let's see if we can do that one. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It's kind of a grayish green. We have Radiant Mate here. Oh, I like that a lot better. Yeah, I think I'll stick with that. Of course, we could also uh, play with the system fonts here. It looks like it's using the Ubuntu font, font family the Ubuntu, standard Ubuntu fonts for the system fonts, and of course Ubuntu Mono for our terminal font. I really love the Ubuntu Mono font for a terminal font. It's very easy on the eyes. Uh, for those of us that are getting a little older, <laughs> the eyes aren't what they used to be. The Ubuntu Mono font is a really nice mono space font for your terminal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the layouts a little bit. I'm going to go to the Tweak tool, Mate Tweak. So I'm just going to type Tweak and I hit Enter. And the Mate Tweak tool launches. First thing I want to do, I don't like desktop icons. I want to get rid of these. So we have the option here, Show Desktop Icons. I'm going to tick that off. I'm just going to get rid of all of them. Now, the one thing when you do that, I'm going to right-click on the desktop. You remember before I had a right-click menu where I can change background and all that. Your right-click menu goes away when you tick off show desktop icons. So what you might want to do is leave that ticked on and instead manually just tick off each individual icon that's on your desktop. Now I still have the right click menu but those icons that were there are gone. I'm going to click on panel here in the Mate Tweak tool. By default 
Our layout is called familiar. This is familiar. This is the old GNOME 2 layout. I actually kind of like the old GNOME 2 layout. But you know what? Let's check out what else is available. I'm going to click on Cupertino. Cupertino, of course, should be a Mac kind of layout. So I'm assuming a panel at the top, a dock at the bottom. And that is what we get. We get the plank dock at the bottom. You get a panel at the top. Let's see what kind of menu they're using here. Okay, they're using uh, this kind of a uh, full screen launcher here instead of the old brisk menu that was in the familiar. All right, we have the Mutiny layout, of course, which should mimic Unity. Okay, so we get a dock, full length dock here on the left hand side. And we have a global menu, a global menu here in the panel. Very nice. I'm, I'm assuming we also have that full screen launcher here. Yep. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Let me get back to the tweet tool. And we also have a netbook layout. We have Pantheon layout. Pantheon, of course, should mimic elementary. But I would assume that the Cupertino, the Mac layout, and the Pantheon layout would be very similar because elementary is essentially a Mac clone. <laughs> really, we have a, the dock at the bottom again, the panel at the top. Except instead of the full screen launcher, now we have the brisk menu. That seems to be the only real difference in those two layouts. We also have a Redmond layout. So this should be your old school Windows layout. Very traditional Windows paradigm here where you have basically one panel. One panel at the bottom, your start menu, if you will, here. This is a, actually a very nice menu system they're using here. I actually prefer this to uh, the full screen launcher and to that brisk menu. Uh, this is a really nice menu system. That would probably be the layout I would run if I was going to run Mate. I kind of like that. So, what are my final thoughts? Uh, what is my final verdict here on Ubuntu Mate 1804 Bionic Beaver? Uh, I, I gotta be honest, I'm pretty disappointed actually. Uh, Ubuntu Mate, everybody talks it up like it is like the best Linux distro out there. Uh, certainly uh, the best Ubuntu flavor out there. It gets a ton of good press. Everybody talks it up and I have uh, recommended it a lot. When people ask me, hey, I'm a new Linux user coming from Windows or Mac, what should I use? Ubuntu Mate is usually one of the suggestions I give people. But I am pretty disappointed with some of what I was seeing here. Again, this is a VM, but like the welcome greeter here doesn't load. The software boutique doesn't load. Uh, yeah, it's a VM, but I expect things to kind of work correctly in a VM. I don't expect programs to not launch. I also don't expect programs to crash, especially your menu system. I had the brisk menu crash on me. Uh, so that's kind of a fail. If I was giving Ubuntu Mate 1804 a letter grade, I would probably have to give it a B minus, B minus, C plus. Uh, Ubuntu Budgie, which I took a look at a couple of days, 1804, was solid. Zubuntu, loved the Zubuntu 1804 release. Even mainline Ubuntu. I'm not a big fan of the GNOME desktop environment, but you know what? It ran. I had no crashes, no glitching, nothing, no, no major issues with it at all. Ubuntu Mate, though, uh, you know what? It's a bit of a pass for me. And I actually considered putting Ubuntu Mate on one of my machines. But you know what? I may just wait, maybe down the road, maybe when a point release comes out, 1804.1. Uh, maybe they'll get some of this worked out. Uh, by the way, this is an LTS release. Ubuntu Mate 1804 is a long-term support release. It will be supported for three years, should you choose to run it for that long. Before I go, I do want to do a special thanks to all my patrons. A.K. Ron, Mr. Neely Pops, John, Brian, Carl, Greg, Carlos, Rob, Matt, Darkwin, Mark, Christian, Jake, Benjamin, Stephen, Marcus, Interceptor, Bob, and Leor. You guys rock. You guys help make this show possible. Peace, guys.